Hey guys, this is Chance. Thank you for tuning in. I'm back with one another budget home tech video. Today we are going to unbox and talk about the Iron Rack 3-in-1 Lightweight Corded Stick Vacuum, which I picked up from Walmart on Black Friday sale for just $20. Yes, you heard that right, just for $20. For this price point, I was quite skeptical about the vacuum, but then reading from a few cool things from its box, I decided to try it out. So let's go ahead and quickly unbox this particular vacuum. So here we have the Iron Black Vacuums box. Let's go ahead and I'll show you what I was talking about, about reading it from the box itself. So it has pretty nice pictures. It looks like it has the entire manual right on the box itself. Uh, it does show us a couple of cool pictures on how to assemble it. And it does say it's a three-in-one vacuum, which you can disassemble and assemble it for things you could do it uh, on top or you could use it on the wood as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly open the box right here. Uh, let's see, it's, it's a pretty frisky box to be very honest with you. Um, I could not get it open in the first try, I had to try it multiple times. Uh, as you can see, I'm having difficulties opening the box. Um, the box itself is a solid build. Um, I got it shipped from Walmart. I did not um, pick it up from the store itself. I got it shipped from Walmart. Um, so it is, it is still in a good, pretty good condition in the box. So it's a solid box build. So 10 on 10 for the box. So as you can see, I have opened the box. Uh, we have a manual, which is pretty user friendly and it's in English. So easy to follow through but I didn't find any instructions on how to set it up I literally looked at the box to figure it out so that's one piece where you could just attach it to the handheld um, it's a uh, pretty basic stuff in the box itself um, everything is disassembled so you need to have a basic skill on how to assemble it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly try to assemble it right here so this is the base uh, of the vacuum. Uh, it is pretty plasticky, so it's of course what else you could expect for like 20 bucks. Uh, but it's a good quality plastic. I wouldn't say I would give like a seven on 10 on the plastic. Uh, this particular rod is the one which holds the top portion of the vacuum to the bottom portion. So this is the main body and the brain of the vacuum. Uh, which would uh, ha which has the suction cups and uh, capacity to suck all the dust. Um, what I'm trying to do right here is to try to fix it up, but I could not figure out because the manual didn't have any of the instructions. So I would have to go ahead and refer it uh, through the box itself. So let me go ahead and quickly check on the box and then I'll get back right here. So this is um, something I just picked it up from the box. So you put the uh, top portion directly on top of it. So you could see it's, it's a little frisky. It's a little difficult for me to put this through. I tried reading the manual, but there's not a lot of clear instructions on how to put it through. So I've been reading on the boxes and I tried to check it up online but I didn't find any specific instructions on how to fix it. Uh, it does stay a little bit outside when I try to push it through. So I'm gonna give it one more try. I'm not trying to force it a lot because it's, a, it's plastic and I don't wanna break it off. Uh, so I'm gonna try and push it through and I'll show you how it looks like uh, once it is assembled. It, but I'm definitely having a little bit of a hard time uh, getting this up and running. I finally I got it fixed uh, it just took me a little longer to push it through but after I got it through it was pretty easy task to put on the top portion uh, it's a very sleek and a lightweight vacuum uh, even kids could do it uh, I would not recommend uh, playing with the electricity but definitely kids could definitely give it a shot uh, once it is assembled and ready to roll all right, so I have it assembled here and I checked the cord, nothing's damaged. So we are ready to test it out. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. 
and it is pretty lightweight so you could easily just put it on uh, the stand itself uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put these things on the floor my mom's gonna kill me but i had to do it for the video uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and power it on now it's just an on and off switch and let's go ahead and do it look at that it just cleared it off in just one particular swoop and you can see how the suction is so quick uh, i'm well impressed with the suction by the way uh, it did suck all of the particles on the floor and you could see how clean it looks uh, the wooden floor is like completely clean in just two sweeps i'm well impressed so once again i'm gonna show you how powerful the suction is you could see how powerful it is spinning and it cleared up all the uh, food particles i dropped it on the floor so see everything is right in that particular channel and it's pretty clean and lightweight i just love this so thank you for watching this video with me guys and if you like this particular video and if you want to give it a try i highly recommend this product go to Walmart's website and I'm going to leave the link to this pretty good product in the description below. You could use it. It's still at $20. I just checked at the time of posting this video. Uh, you should be able to grab this deal and this vacuum for $20. Uh, make sure you pick it up. Uh, it's just to supply last. And if you want me to review any more products uh, you would like, I can definitely go ahead and do that. Leave a comment down below and i'll be happy to do it and i'll see you in the next one thank you guys appreciate you guys watching do subscribe to my channel thank you